Hi everyone, welcome to the Explorer. I'm Miss Jane. I'm Quan Fang. Today we will look at the reading comprehension. The title is Chinese New Year. So please take out your level 3 workbook and then turn to page 69 and you can see this topic 8 Chinese New Year. Now take a look at this passage, topic 8 Chinese New Year. So I will read the passage and you have to listen carefully to my pronunciation because you're going to read and record later on. So pay attention and you can read together with me as well. First paragraph. Today is the first day of Chinese New Year. Lai Ping and her sister wake up early. First day. Lai Ping wake up early. Okay, next paragraph. After washing up, they put on their new clothes. After washing up, they put on their new clothes. Washing up the okay, washing up. They put on put on the their new clothes. They put on their new clothes. Then they greet their parents. Then they greet their parents. Okay, they greet their parents. They are over the moon when their parents give them ang bao. They are over the moon when their parents give them ang bao. They are over the moon when their parents give them ang bao. Okay, now they are over the moon when their parents give them ang bao. They thank them profusely for the red packets. They thank them profusely for the red packets. 他们呢就非常感谢,非常感激他们的父母,for他们的红包, okay, for red packets. Last paragraph. After breakfast, Lai Bing and her sister accompany their parents to visit their relatives and friends. After breakfast, Lai Bing and her sister Accompany. Accompany the is just pay ban tam and the full mo. She tan wang tam and the ching chi her pong yo, relatives and friends. At night, they have a fun field time playing firecrackers. At night, one sang the shahona tam and yung yo 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 so now, after you have read and understand the passage already, then now I want you to take up your pencil or if you have a highlighter, you can take it out. I want you to underline the words. Okay? So, if you have a highlighter, you can take it out. Okay? So, now what I want you to underline the first word. Okay? The first word is put on. Okay? So, please do it together. Put on the first word. Second word. Greet, greet. Third word, over the moon, over the moon. Fourth word, thank them profusely, thank them profusely. Fifth word, accompany, fifth word, accompany. The last word, fun field time, fun field time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so all together, there are 6 words that you have to underline or you have to highlight. So please do so. And now it's time for you to take out your vocabulary book. Please get ready. So the first word is put on. Put on. Put on is okay? So please write now, put on, and then your A sentence, okay? A sentence, as usual, you copy from the book, okay? So this sentence is from the book, laboratory book. So look at the passage and copy right away, okay? That's your A sentence. 
So if I'm going too fast, you can just pause the video and listen a few times. Alright, so that's for your A sentence. And then let's continue with the B sentence. So B sentence, as usual, I will give you the Chinese word and you are going to write in English. Okay, so B 句子呢一样的，我会给华语字，然后你就写成英文。So look at the B sentence. 听清楚，那位女孩刚才穿上她的新外套，然后出去了。So I want you to take a look at my first word. 那位女孩 ，So I want you to write the. Okay. So it start with the. The girl. Alright. Subject. The girl. So 记得有讲刚才呀、啊，刚才穿上。So put on. Okay. The girl put on what? 她的新外套 ，her new coat. I want you to write the word coat. 新的外套 ，coat. 怎样 spell 呢 ？C O A T. Okay. Her new coat. 外套，新外套。然后出去了。And. Okay. 你要记得啊。And 什么 ？Go out or went out? 因为是 past tense 啊，过去啦。Just now. Okay, 我再讲了一次啊。那位女孩刚才穿上她的新外套，然后出去了。The girl put on her new coat and went out. Okay, so this is answer for number one B. If you don't know the answer, then you have to listen one more time. All right, next number two, greet, greet, 打招呼或者是请安。A sentence. Then they greet their parents. It's so easy, okay? A sentence. Next, the B sentence. 我们每天早上向我们的老师请安。每天早上 ，that is a very important word, okay? 每天早上 ，every morning. So the subject is we. We greet who? Our teacher, okay? We greet our teacher when every morning. So that's so easy, right? That is for your number two B. Number three, over the moon. Over the moon, 非常开心，非常开心。A sentence, they are over the moon when their parents give them ang bao. B sentence, Rachel 非常开心，因为她的好朋友给她一份礼物。So 你就可以讲啊 ，OK。你听，你听清楚，我就会读出来那个答案的。那你要想那个字怎么去写 ，OK？ So make sure you listen properly. Rachel subject 非常开心，就是 over the moon。那中间呢，我就要你放一个 verb 啦。你看 A 的句子一模一样的 ，They are over the moon. They are over the moon. 那这边要怎样写？我要给你 pass tense。So Rachel was. Rachel was over the moon. Why? Because, okay, in way, ah, so we can say because, because what? Because her 的好朋友 her best friend, okay, because, because her best, okay, write the word best for you, 就是好朋友 her best friend gave her a present, okay, her best friend. Gave her a present. I repeat, number three B. Rachel was over the moon because her best friend gave her a present. Yes, that is for your number three answer. Okay. And next number four. Number four. Thank them profusely. Thank them profusely. 非常感激，非常感激就是 A sentence. They thank them profusely for the red packets. They thank them profusely for the red packets. B sentence. 我的邻居非常感激我的爸爸。Okay, for 非常感激我的爸爸，帮助他。Okay, 我的邻居非常感激我的爸爸帮助他。So how are you going to write? 我的邻居 my neighbors. 
Okay, neighbor, 一个啊，一个邻居报的。So I write the word for you. N e i g h b o u r. This is the word my neighbor. Okay, so my neighbor. 非常感激。我要用的是 past tense. Okay, 听清楚啊，我 past tense 啊， past tense should be in e d. So my neighbor thank, thank who? 我的爸爸 my father, for helping. Him, okay, for helping him. 整个句子听听清楚 okay. 我的 neighbor, 我的 my neighbor, okay. My neighbor thank my father profusely for helping him. Okay, 所以如果你要讲非常感激的话，你就可以用这个 profusely 这一个字 My neighbor thank my father profusely for helping him. That's for your answer for number four B. All right. So next number five. A company, a company, a company. 陪伴，陪伴，可以就是陪伴一个人去哪里。So eight sentence. After breakfast, Lei Liping and her sister accompany their parents to visit their relatives and friends. After breakfast, Liping and her sister accompany their parents to visit their relatives and friends. Okay, good. Next, B sentence. 我现在正在陪伴我的妈妈去菜市场。So look at the word. 现在正在。So I want you to use I. Okay. So you have to remember I am I is I are. Accompanying. Okay. Accompanying. 加 I N G 啊。Because 是现在正在。So accompanying. Put the word I N G, okay? So I am accompanying who? What a mama? My mother. To where? 菜市场 The word is market, okay? Market. M A R K E T. So the whole sentence will be like I am accompanying my mother to the market, okay? So that's for your B sentence. Next number six, fun feel time, fun feel time, 美好的时光 Okay, so 美好的时光 A sentence. At night, they have a fun feel time playing firecrackers. So 美好时光在那边玩鞭炮 So B sentence will be 我和我的家人在普劳朗高里拥有一个美好的时光 So how are you going to write it in English? 我和我的家人 very easy. My family and I, okay. So my family and I. Past tense, okay. We are using past tense. Ah, so look at the first one. A 的句子是 have, right? Past tense should be had. So had what? Had a fun field time. Had a fun field time at where? Okay, at Pulau Langkawi. At Pulau Langkawi. Full stop. Okay, so I repeat. My family and I had a fun field time at Pulau Langkawi. All right, so that is for your number six B. If you can't get it, please repeat the video and watch it again and listen. So now you can check your answers. All right. So now you see number one to number six B. Number one, the girl put on her new coat and went out just now. Number two, we greet our teacher every morning. Number three, Rachel was over the moon because her best friend gave her a present. Number four, my neighbor thanked my father profusely for helping him. Number five, I am accompanying my mother to the market now. If you didn't write the word now, it's okay. Okay, next number six, my family and I had a fun field time at Pulau Langkawi. So please check your answers number one to number six. 检查你的答案 Check the spelling, okay? So your homework to be sent is you will need to read this passage. So I will read for you one more time. Make sure you listen carefully. Get ready. Let's go. Today is the first day of Chinese New Year. Today is the first day of Chinese New Year. Liping and her sister wake up early. Liping and her sister wake up early. 
After washing up, they put on their new clothes. After washing up, they put on their new clothes. Then they greet their parents. Then they greet their parents. They are over the moon when their parents give them ang pao. They are over the moon when their parents give them ang pao. They thank them profusely for the red packets. They thank them profusely for the red packets. After breakfast, Lai Ping and her sister accompany their parents to visit their relatives and friends. After breakfast, Lai Ping and her sister accompany their parents to visit their relatives and friends. At night, they have a fun field time playing firecrackers. At night, they have a fun field time playing firecrackers. So, this is your homework. You have to record and send it to us. Okay, you don't have to take any pictures, but I just want you to listen your recording for this passage, topic A, Chinese New Year. Okay, so please go and do now. So that's all for today. Thank you. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you. Subscribe the Explorer for more lessons. Have a nice day.